Hello, Moto. It is not something new. This old can be news. But for those who don't know, Motorola and Lenovo are same. And in this video, we are going to take a look at how far they have come with individual statistics. So back in day in 2011, Google bought Motorola for $12.5 billion and after 2 years they sold it to Lenovo in just $2.9 billion. So why Lenovo bought Motorola and why Google sell it? Obviously they want a solid market anyways. Look, Lenovo is among the top 5 mobile brands in the world and they are the PC makers. They are the world's number one PC makers. But in that time, smartphones started to overlap the PC business. And there's no argue with that, the smartphones were the future. And in that time, they had a huge market of smartphones in China. But they wanted to grow up the second primary business and spread it to the rest of the world. So buying Motorola was a tour to US. And if you have solid service on US, you have your rest of the world. So after buying Motorola in 2011, the users thought that it is a revolutionary step. The Motorola will now come with some great innovative ideas. You know, because like Apple and Blackberry, Motorola was vanishing. But though Google came up with these two great phones, Moto G and Moto X, but those are not enough to beat this Chinese market where technology is such a homemade thing and mobile phones are starting with cheap price. So as a result, Google made nothing out of it, zero profit. But Google's main motive was not to produce smartphones. Motorola had these patents, so Google wanted to use them to beat Apple, and they bought that with a price around four billion dollars. So Google didn't lose that much by selling it to Lenovo. So where these two companies have come now? Well, to the Lenovo's perspective, they have gained this awesome market of smartphone. They are now collaborating with Juke, and for sure they are one of the fastest going mobile company and competitor around the world. And there is no argument with that, they have gone far far ahead after buying Motorola. And with the Motorola's perspective, well, you know, though Lenovo for Motorola, they try to retain the soberness of Moto. You know, you still get this original essence of Moto in their phones. But there is no such thing as beating Chinese market and all. Motorola became the boring smartphone with a high or super high performance. And in the case of Google's journey after that, <laughs> well, we all know that. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a portrait in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge